Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, the 11th of December. I'm James Spann. Raw, cold, and uh, interesting weather as we head toward Christmas. Uh, Maybe some fun times in the land of voodoo for those people that like snow. What's the deal? Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll take a look at some of the Skycam shots. That's about the only camera I could find where the sun is shining at mid-afternoon. That's coming from Tuscaloosa. Uh, But even there, they're sitting at, uh, I think, 45 at the uh, county courthouse at midday, despite the sun. Now, in Trussville, just east of Birmingham, it's cloudy, and they're sitting at 38 degrees at 2 o'clock. Wow. And even down on the Gulf Coast, it's cold. I mean, it's 48 at the Skycam site at the Phoenix All Suites, and I count two people down there walking on the beach, and that's it for as far as you can see. There's the visible satellite view. You can see that uh, the sun is shining up over the northwestern corner of the state, around the Shoals, uh, Russellville, Hamilton. But for the rest of Alabama, we have uh, clouds going nowhere with the southwest flow aloft, and it's cold. Uh, Temperatures, well, look at 37 at Fort Payne at 2 o'clock. Birmingham, we just hit 40. And needless to say, I don't think we're going to hit that uh, forecast high of 48. That's way too warm uh, today. Tuscaloosa, 43. The one spot that did hit 48 is Montgomery. Big upper trough axis west of the state. That'll be passing through here late tonight, early tomorrow. Uh, Don't expect any rain up here, but that will bring some rain down to the Gulf Coast. It is cold over much of the continental United States. To find warmth, you have to go all the way down to Miami and Key West. Other than that, everybody's cold, and it's brutally cold up in Canada. Uh, Some temperatures at midday at 25 below zero. Ouch. Got a slight risk of severe weather for much of the Florida Peninsula. That's basically uh, near Interstate 4 and Point South all the way to Key West, where they could see some uh, pretty rough weather later this afternoon and tonight. And other than that, things pretty quiet across the uh, fruited plain today. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock local time, suggesting not much around here. We'll have a chance of showers this weekend, but rain should be on the light side. Let's get in there and take a look. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Wednesday. Very strong trough coming in here, but for us, the air would not support any rain. Clouds tomorrow morning, yes. The sky becomes partly sunny. The rain is over the southeastern tip of the state around Dothan and Ozark, uh, over into Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, We'll start the day near freezing. I mean, come on, we're in the 30s here at mid-afternoon. It'll be cold, and uh, if the sun does break out, if the sky becomes partly sunny, we should reach the mid-50s. Thursday, upper 50s are likely. Again, a cold morning, probably around freezing to start the day. And then on Friday, the high should be close to 60. And again, the sky will be mostly sunny. All right, planning out that weekend? I know you are. Let's take a look at weather. Very strong wave over the nation's midsection. Down below that, a surface low, sub-1,000 millibar low north of Kansas City. And this run is more aggressive with the moisture return, showing showers uh, developing during the day Saturday. The run we showed you this morning had the showers arriving Saturday night. But this is suggesting we could see some rain at times during the day. And nothing really heavy. And then we go to Sunday. The surface low is near Detroit, a front passing through Birmingham. Showers shifting down to the south. And, uh, you know, the, the GFS just goes nuts in the model output statistics. If anybody keeps up with that, it's got like 73 on Sunday. We don't buy that. That's uh, way out of line, but uh, maybe low 60s. And then Monday of next week. Uh, We should turn cooler. Highs drop back in the 50s. The front stalls out near the Gulf Coast, and uh, that would suggest a chance of showers near the coast or just offshore. We would be cool and dry, but ooh, boy. Goodness. This is midday Tuesday. A closed, deep 500 millibar upper low sitting on the Alabama-Mississippi border around Tupelo and Hamilton. And ooh, what do you say? You know what we say. Upper... Level cold core upper low weatherman's woe. And uh, some weird things can happen underneath those things. There's the surface look uh, Tuesday. It's got the surface low up around Fort Payne and Minto, 994 millibars. And 
Uh, understand the air at the surface is just not going to be that cold. Uh, but we all know that those cold cores can, by nature of dynamic cooling, produce their own cold air. But uh, I think that would just suggest some rain here uh, Tuesday of next week. Uh, kind of a cold, rainy day. Uh, any snowflakes would have to be directly underneath the cold core. Maybe up there near the Tennessee border there could be a few snowflakes. But the low-level thickness values just aren't that cold. Uh, and then the following day, this is Wednesday of next week, that thing is off in the Atlantic just bombing out 977 millibars. Yikes. And we're uh, cool and dry. Uh, this is the snow look from that feature um, early next week. Uh, big old cold core upper low. Uh, this is suggesting it could drop a snow cover roughly along and north of Interstate 40. Uh, northern Tennessee, the bigger numbers uh, over around uh, Lynchburg, Roanoke, up into West Virginia. Uh, but I, I don't think that's a snow look for us, even though those cold cores can be tricky. We'll watch that. All right, now the fun starts for the Voodoo Land snow fans. December 22nd, Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. Very deep trough, and down below that in response to that, a surface low is just south of Destin and Fort Walton Beach. Just where you want to see it, for us to be in the sweet spot for snow, the uh, critical thickness line is just south of Birmingham. And look, if you're if you're new to this, the, whenever we say voodoo land, that means there's no skill out here. Uh, but I'll say this, the models have been advertising these kind of things for days, uh, the European too. So there's some credibility maybe to the idea of some winter weather mischief a time or two in late December. Whether this happens or not, we don't know. This is the projected snow cover from that. Uh, this is the snow cover expected uh, the evening of the 22nd, and this is showing maybe the chance of a little snow cover, not much, over uh, uh, north Alabama, basically from Birmingham north. So we'll see. And then on the 24th, Christmas Eve, it's just cold. The gates to the Yukon are open at 1035 high over the Dakotas, and Christmas Day would be cold and dry. Maybe the kind of like today, the high around 40 and uh, lows down in the 20s, but that would be dry. So uh, we'll see. It's going to be an interesting uh, latter half of December, I think, based on what we're seeing now. But again, we don't know anything beyond seven days. We're just peeking and looking for ideas. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and you can catch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.